So somebody feels trapped. Or somebody got caught. Now, whatever this person got caught up in, um, this person know that they have burned their bridges with another person. Like they've been caught, they're trapped. Um, they don't have any other resources or anyone else to turn to because they solely depended on this person. Now, this could be somebody that got caught cheating and they never expected to get caught up. This could be something that went on for a long time and this was going on under another person's nose. Now, this could be you who went through this or this could be someone else taking where it resonates, but somebody has been caught. Whatever they got caught up in, they know that this person is not going to forgive them. It's like hard for them to forgive them. Yeah, something is unforgivable. We have glow up. You have isolation, antisocial, hiding. Okay, so whatever took place, this person kind of like went in isolation. They just don't want to be around anyone. This is someone who is in their feelings. They've been giving people the silent treatment and people don't know what's going on. Like, they don't know that this person caught someone cheating. Like, the person that they were in a relationship with. Deceive them. And it's like, if this is different friends, different family members, they don't know why this person just kind of isolated their self. They don't know what this person is, you know, going through right now. I'm hearing broken, broken promises. It's like somebody put their life on hold for another person. And this person turned out to be someone that was very deceptive. It's like that person was wearing a mask. And as I say, they never expected to get caught, but they got caught red handed. And whatever they did, it made that person feel rejected. It made them feel insecure. And it made them feel out of place like they were all along, um, alone. They felt like they would not be able to um, talk to other people about what they were going through. This could have been embarrassment as well. They could have spoke highly of this person. This could be someone that they took serious. You know, they committed to this person. This could be someone that they thought they were going to have a future with. And they didn't know a lot was hidden with this person. Yeah. This is someone who got very guarded after this happened. Somebody was put in a third party. And I'm hearing close to home. So this could be somebody that they know, like somebody that they were close to was sleeping with the person that they were in a connection with. But it's like a light bulb went off in their head. Somebody could have warned them about this or warned them about that person, or whoever they caught them um, cheating with. Could be both people they were warned about. They started thinking about something with Epiphany being here that was said to them. Yeah, disloyal. Lack of trust. Now it's like this person is in the energy where they don't trust anyone. This person have set boundaries with everybody. Yeah, this is definitely an ex. This was a relationship that they were in with someone. And it was a dead relationship. 
the relationship was over, but they stayed in the connection. And it could be because they had been attached to that person for a long time. And they already had these trust issues, but they allowed this person in. Yeah, they allowed this person in. So say if this person had already had trust issues before they met this energy that they caught. They never healed from whatever they went through in the last connection. They kind of just jumped into another relationship and they manifested the energy that they were attached to, but 10 times worse. Because they hadn't learned their lesson in the last relationship that they were in before they got with this person. They didn't take out the time to isolate, give their self a break. Release whatever it is that um, had them feeling insecure about their self. So when this took place, this was just like... They wanted to be left alone, like, and people just did not understand why, because they didn't say anything. They didn't want people to know. So people could have started assuming, like, this person is um up in their head about this, or they're in their emotions about that, not knowing this energy is somebody that did them dirty. And it was the person that they did this with was somebody that they knew. This is definitely someone that they were taking care of. Like they provided for this person. Yeah. And this is someone who was hooking up with another person. This person that they were providing for in a connection with, this person was like a one night stand type of energy. This is someone that was non-committal. This is someone who often hooked up with people that were um like fleas. And whoever this person is that kind of caught them, it's like they didn't know the difference between like a one night stand type of energy in a relationship or a committed relationship. It's like they weren't able to discern or tell the difference. Yeah, then you have divine intervention. It's like ever since they hooked up with this person, they've been going through a lot of karma. God has been trying to reveal a lot to this person. And they were avoiding this for a long time. We have secret crush. And then you have fear. New love and magnetic attraction. Now, somebody is afraid of this person moving on and going towards new love. They know that this person have been secretly admiring the person that they want to go towards. They know there's a magnetic attraction between them and whoever this secret crush is. But they just thought they had this person trapped. Now that they've gotten caught up, they're in fear. They know this is their karma. I'm also getting there thinking about something that this secret crush said. So if this is you, you're the person that they're secretly admiring, you've woken them up to something. Or they're having an epiphany about something that you predicted or said in the past. That's kind of speaking volumes to them now. And 
And they feel like if they avoided what you said, this is their karma. This is why they're going through karma. Or this is why they went through this. If this energy that has gotten caught up know about you, the person that they were sleeping with was close enough to this person that secretly admires you. It's like they confided in that person. They trusted that person. This could have been a close friend or a family member that was close to them that hooked up with this person. But they knew about you and they could have told this energy about you and they knew about you or they found out about you. Now they're in fear of this person coming towards you in the energy of new love. Because them isolating their self, disconnecting from a lot of people because of this deception, it has created a drastic change, a positive change that nobody expected them to make. This is someone who needed to heal from a lot of trauma that they had been burying, hiding for a long time. Yeah, somebody just thought they would never get caught. This went on for a long time and it didn't start with whoever this person is that was close to the person that secretly admires you. It's like they've been hooking up with different people having one night stands. That person just did not know who they were dealing with. Yeah, we have the three of swords and the seven of swords. This hurt them because this was close to home. Somebody was cheating right under another person's nose and they spoke highly of this person. They respected that person. It's like they put that person above their self, not knowing this person was wearing a mask. Wow. And it's like they were taken from whoever this person is that secretly admires you and they were given to this energy that they were sleeping with that was close to this person or other people. Yeah, this was like the ultimate betrayal. But it helped this emperor to end out a cycle a cycle of confusion, a cycle of trauma, a cycle of generational curses. This has truly helped them to step into their power. Because it's like this person didn't need to call on anyone else but their intuition and also calling on God for help to pull them through. And the reason why they could have like closed their self off because they could be around a lot of people that are um, very judgmental. They talk negative. They gossip a lot. And this is something that they just needed to go through by their self so they could end out something that was an, an inevitable end, something that was already dead and could not be prevented. It couldn't be stopped.
Yeah, somebody has stopped a cycle. And it's like, if this was someone that was secretly admiring you, you're their secret crush. Now, this person is like in love with you, with the Queen of Cups being here. You're their true wish fulfillment with the star. Yeah. This is someone who wants to come towards you for a commitment. And they've been keeping their self in solitude. Yeah, because this person wants to offer love to you. Yeah, you have the nine of wands and the death card in the reverse. So whoever this person is, they got caught up. They've been working hard to try to stop that person from um, like cutting them off, leaving them out. It's like they've been trying to hold on to this person, hoping that something is still there or um, hoping that something isn't over with the death card popping out in the reverse. Yeah. It's like once that person got caught up, they blocked that person. And whoever this is that did this to them with this person, this could, as I said, this could be a close friend or family member. This is someone that they didn't fully trust. It's like their intuition did not fully trust that person. But at this time, they weren't using their intuition. Or they just weren't taking their intuition serious. They weren't listening to their intuition. Yeah, somebody was definitely put in a third party. And it's like when they first met this person, they honestly thought this person had their self together. But they're realizing that this was a facade. This person acted as if they had their self put together. They were stable, but they found their self taking care of this person. Yeah, and giving money to this person. Yeah, I'm getting they, you know, put this facade on as if they had a lot, but they were always asking that person for money. If this person got set up or robbed or maybe they could have gotten um, something could have came up missing. This could have been money. This person stole it. It's like somebody was dealing with a thief and they didn't know. It's like they were physically taken from this person and emotionally taken from this person. Yeah. Somebody could have lost a car dealing with this energy. A car could have gotten stolen with theft and carless being here. This could have been the same day that either this took place. They found out about this person cheating on them with somebody that was close to them or the first time they met that person. Something came up missing. Yeah. This is someone who wanted to make sure that that person was broke. With boss popping out in the reverse. They wanted to make sure that they can like. Get stable off of this person. They would leave them unstable. Yeah, somebody was blinded. I'm hearing blinded by lust. Yeah. 
and their plan was to move on from that person, like take everything from this person, whatever they have built. But this could have been a CEO. Um, this was definitely someone that was stable, boss type of energy. But they were planning to take everything that they could from this person and move on. They never anticipated on this person finding out what they were doing behind the scenes. Yeah. And it's like after this person moved on, whoever these two people are, they came together to create a lot of drama. They were definitely like watching that person online. Somebody could have been watching you online with cyber bully being here. Because they were expecting for this person to like kiss their behind, come back toward them. If they found out this person was secretly admiring you, this person made up a lot of things about you that were not true. And there was no proof, no facts. And it was because they were at war, secretly competing with you. This person was impersonating you. They felt like since that person was interested in you, if they can impersonate you, act like you, look like you, dress like you, they can get that person back hooked on them. Yeah, but somebody was just like, no. Somebody dodged a major bullet. This was a karmic soulmate. I'm hearing possessed. This person was someone who, um, they were possessive. This was a possess po possessive, unhealthy, toxic, karmic partner. And they were obsessed with keeping this person stuck. Them getting caught up, they didn't see it coming. Now, they could have found out something was mentally wrong with this person. After they walked away, like the way this person was acting, especially if they were like secretly impersonating you, trying to compete with you, spreading rumors and lies and different things like that. Like they found out something was wrong with this person. Because they know this energy does not know you. But they were constantly keeping your name in their mouth. And they were just making up a lot of things. Yeah, this is somebody that's holding a grudge. And this card was getting ready to pop out. They're holding a grudge. Because they found out how this person feels about you. They could have also found out that you warned them about this before it happened. This setup. The plan was to drain this person dry and walk away from them. Have them in some type of illusion. Thinking that they were going to be in a commitment with that person. They could trust that person. They were going to be doing life with that person. Yeah. And this is someone who was sleeping with a karmic friend of theirs. Someone that they could not fully trust. Somebody that was already secretly in competition with them. And they felt like teaming up with this person after the truth came out, even before the truth came out. Before they got caught, they teamed up with this karmic partner to prevent this person that admires you from moving on and coming toward you. And it's because they were secretly in competition. They felt like they had already won up this person by sleeping with this, this karmic partner. And they had one up that person to prevent them from coming toward you. Yeah, these people are going through bad karma. Because it's like whatever they were getting from this person and giving to this friend. They knew it was going to stop if they came toward you, if this person like cut them off. These two people came together. 
to steal from that person. And it's like something that they did in the past is coming back. If this is deception that they caused, they came together to create deception, confusion, betrayal against you for warning this person or just against this person from walking away. Something is coming back to hunt whoever these two people are. Something that they did in the past. And if they did something to you, they feel like it didn't affect you the way that they wanted it to. So they know that energy it's coming back to collect. The energy that you put out there is the energy that you will always get back, whether good or bad. Somebody was definitely under the impression that they were going to marry this person or they wanted that person to believe that they would marry them. They were interested in a long-term commitment. And it's like whoever this karmic friend is, they could have encouraged them to stay attached to this person because they could have went to that person for advice. Especially if they were going through relationship problems with this person. This is someone they, did, they didn't take serious. They just viewed that person as a hookup type of energy. The relationship was dead. And they confided in the wrong person. That person told them, hey, stay attached to this person. You should commit to that person, marry that person. And it's because they thought that they were going to gain a lot of abundance, a lot of money off of this person because they were sleeping with this individual. Yeah, both of these people are intimidated. They felt threatened, felt bothered by you. Now you have child services here. This was something that was definitely reported. If you have a child or children, this may not resonate with everyone, but this card says kids are at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something, neglect or abuse. So these are people that were intimidated by what you predicted, what you said, what you want this person about, and they wanted to punish you. Because that bothered them, you speaking the truth or knowing the truth. Yeah. Then you have Queen Rising. So you're definitely someone who has stepped in your power. By this boss energy popping out in the reverse, if this is your emperor, because this is like emperor and empress energy, they didn't want them to step into their power. Somebody knew that your intuition was on point when you warned this person about these two people, about what was going on behind the scenes, some type of setup. And somebody felt like you, you know, you've done your research. And they felt like this would like knock you off or knock you down. Them making some type of false accusations against you or reporting something negative about you that was not true. Yeah, it still didn't make that person interested in them. Whatever they did to you to try to make you look bad, they were still uninterested in this person. Yeah, they were uninterested in this person because this is someone who is in love with you with love on the brain being here. And no matter what they try to do to make that person not admire you, it didn't change them fantasizing about you, thinking about you, daydreaming about you. This is someone who has actual dreams about you as well. Yeah, you have an offer. So this person is definitely coming out of isolation. They're wanting to celebrate with you. This is someone who is coming toward you in the energy of new love. 
This offer could be a heart to heart conversation. This could be starting over with this person. If something took place in the past and there was some type of misunderstanding between you and this person. This is someone who did not know what um, true, genuine love was. But if they've isolated, they've healed, this person has definitely learned how to put their self first, love their self first, appreciate their self. It's like that person could have ghosted you or just disconnected from you because they didn't have any love to give. And they definitely at that time did not know how to reciprocate, receive anything. This is someone who is in the energy of giving and receiving with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. This is someone who definitely realized after walking away from this person, their finances were a mess. They realized how many bad decisions they made when it came to finances and just giving to that person. This is someone who has also been in the process of turning things around with their finances. They want a second chance. This card says, I want a second chance. Not being with you is killing me. So yeah, it's like this person was coming toward you, but they got some bad advice and they went, could have stayed attached to a dead end relationship and they ended up going through a lot of negative karma. I'm ready to come clean. I can't lose you again. So they're wanting to come clean about what took place in the past. This could be someone who definitely wants to open up and talk to you about whatever they went through. Yeah, they miss you. This could be someone where you were um, weren't, weren't in a connection with this person. It wasn't anything serious. You could have been in the midst of developing a friendship with that person. And they were secretly admiring you. They never got a chance to tell you. If you and this person have conversed and had different encounters, they're thinking about these encounters. They're thinking about the conversations that you and them have had. This person misses your laugh, your voice. They find you some they find you um someone that is very funny. Yeah, they feel like you have a sense of humor and they can't stop thinking about you. This person is getting all of the signs and synchronicities. They could be constantly being reminded of you and it's like driving them insane. Sometimes it has them in their feelings just thinking about you because they've been hiding the way that they feel. And if they wanted to come clean about this in the past, somebody stopped them. But it was a reason why this took place. They needed to see. They can't trust this person. It's like somebody mass needed to fall off. They needed to see that this person had turned their back on them a long time ago. And they weren't just keeping their self like stuck in an old relationship, a dead relationship, but this was like a dead friendship. Yeah. Okay, so this person feels like you're someone that did not put up with their mess in the past. Or they knew you weren't going to put up with a certain energy that they were in. You crushed their ego. But that made them respect you even more. So maybe this person thought that they were going to come towards you in this hookup type of energy. Treat you like a fling. 
and they will stay attached to whoever this ex is, this dead relationship. And it just did not turn out well. Yeah. Somebody definitely got some. I'm hearing bad. I keep hearing bad advice. It's like they took advice from whoever this friend turned foe is to come towards you in this one night stand type of energy. And they could have played some type of games wanting you to chase after them um, or they were trying to breadcrumb you, different things like that. And it just didn't end well. You didn't feed into this energy. You could have been focusing on a business, focusing on improving yourself with glow up being here. And that crushed their ego. They weren't accustomed to people not chasing after them, giving them attention, because these could be people that are very needy, very codependent. You're not. Then we have twin flame. So this is definitely your twin flame. This is someone who feels like you were able to see right through them. You were able to figure out some type of game that they were playing. And this could be why they went in isolation. They just felt like opening up and talking to anybody about how they felt about you, what happened with them and that person, nobody would understand. They definitely felt like people would laugh at them or make fun of them. Or people would, you know, talk negative about them, spread their business around. Yeah, this is someone who was used to getting what they wanted, but they feel like you put them in their place. I dream about you constantly. I hate that I have to wake up because it's so beautiful in the 5D. This was a hard lesson I needed to learn. I was out of control. Yeah, so... This is someone who definitely needed to take out this time to be in solitude, heal, cleanse their self, and remove whatever negative attachments they had attached to them. And it's like now they're wanting to manifest this connection that um, they want to have with you. Now, this person could have found out that you're their twin flame or you know this is your twin. You know that you tried to warn them about someone that wanted to have them stuck, trapped. You could have definitely warned them about karmic friends as well. And for a long time, they were thinking about what you said and they were in regret for how they treated you, how they played games with you and tried to manipulate you. Even though it didn't work, they still were in regret. They still was in regret. Because they feel like you were being genuine with them. And they weren't being genuine with you. This is someone who definitely realized they trusted the wrong type of people. They feel like they underestimated how important you are in their life. Now that they found out that you're their twin. Yeah. They regret what they did to you. This is someone who has sat back and um, did a lot of self-reflecting. And they realize all of the mistakes that they have made. Not only with this connection, but in life. Different connections, different experiences that they have had. For a long time, they felt like you deserve better than them. Until they found out that you and them have a soul connection. Yeah, this is someone who is in love with you. And they knew you were the one when they first met you. 
This is someone who ran because they weren't ready for you and they were caught up in a karmic relationship. But they feel like this is someone who would never compare to you. Now that they have found out the truth. So yeah, everything happened for a reason. And they're seeing why they needed to go through this. Because this is someone that was out of control. It's like if they were in this same energy, hooking up with people, having one night stands, they didn't know they manifested the same type of person and what was going on under their nose. They dealt with someone who could match their ego. But you not giving that person what they wanted, it, it basically crushed their ego. They went through an ego death. And now it's like ha it has helped them to step in their power and want what's best for them, want what's best for um, their future. So I'm going to end out this reading with one of these messages from the Universe Oracle cards. This card says, Bigger and better experiences are on, are coming your way. You may not be able to see it, but great things are coming together for you as you read this. Trust the process and let it unfold in divine timing. Move forward knowing that all is working out just fine. So yeah, I'm hearing release self-doubt and I'm looking at this isolation card. During this time of isolation, this person has released a lot of um, self-doubt, a lot of insecurities that could have had them in this like reckless energy, hookup energy, willing to um, have a one night stand with anyone to make their self feel good, to boost their ego, but it only lowered their self-esteem. Once they decided to want what was best for them and go inward to heal, release the energy that they were in and things and people that don't serve purpose to them, they realize that um, they're only going to be able to experience bigger and better experiences after um, they've ended out this cycle, this connection. Even though they don't see it yet, they still have hope. And it's like you gave this person hope. You helped them to go through a major wake up call. You helped them to see things different. You definitely help them to trust in their intuition. It was already something that they could not trust about this person and this karmic friend. But they avoided it. They were in denial. Yeah. They also watched you move forward. And they feel like you moving forward um, everything is working out just fine for you. They definitely have watched you step into your power and they've watched you gain some type of success with glow up being here. Even though you could have went through some type of challenge with this child services issue and something that was, um, some type of false accusations. Yeah. So whoever these two people are, they're definitely understanding that whatever they were doing, it was set up to happen the way that it has happened. Their mask was going to fall off. They were going to get caught.
them coming together to create a lot of confusion only speeded up the process of them getting caught. 